Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a weapon review on the Advocate. This assault rifle is not to be messed with and is easily one of the best weapons in the game and I'm going to teach you how to obtain it and how to master this gun. Before we get into it, shout out to these guys that left comments in some of my last videos and make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Now let's get into it. First things first, you have to understand how to unlock the Advocate. Now the Advocate is an ICA weapon that you unlock at level 12 for this faction. That's not too high of a rank, so you can use this gun nice and early into your journey in this game. If you head on over to the ICA, you go to the ICA market, go to weapons, and you see the Advocate is the fifth gun in the list. This is easily one of the best guns on the list because it does 11 damage, has a 24 base magazine size, and 27 penetration. I'm going to show you a little later in the video why you need this thing, but before we get into that, I'm going to show you the best attachments to run with this gun to make it even better than it already is. Now, the Advocate has two ways that you can really use it. You can either use it as a longer range AR or a medium range AR. For me personally, I always bring an Advocate with a sniper, so I don't really need that longer range action, but maybe for some of you, you want to rock it two times on this and just bring this gun. That is perfectly fine, but for me, this is my go-to loadout right here. If you can get a stock or a foregrip purple do that use that because it's obviously going to be better i don't see a real big difference so i use that on some other guns that need it a little bit more because there's heavier recoil on some other weapons but this gun has a really easy recoil pattern that we'll go over a little later for the attachments on this weapon i use a holographic sight because first of all the gun looks amazing and the sight works really well on this weapon i use a medium extended and i'm going to show you really quick why i have the purple variant on and if i take it off look at this number it goes from 36 magazine size to 24 you gain an additional 12 bullets which maybe doesn't seem like a lot, but it really makes a huge difference when you're trying to spray someone down. Then instead of having to reload, you already have the bullets in your gun. A medium suppressor or a suppressor is something you should really have on every single weapon. Again, you don't need it, but it helps to contain your shots and to really have the jump on enemies. I have a stock, an ultra light stock to be exact, a tactical foregrip. I do have a purple medium converter. If you're gonna go after the mobs or after Jeffs or something, maybe put the creature converter on the gun instead. It's all up to you. And for the rear grip, I have a green one. You can't actually make a blue or a purple one just because I don't know you have to find it and if you find a green one keep it because it's the best you're gonna get so this is the loadout I rock with the advocate we'll go over the recoil pattern right now and show you why this gun is so good and you can literally laser almost anyone from anywhere so the advocate doesn't have too much recoil it has a pretty significant pattern that you can really predict and if you understand this pattern you will have the best recoil control for this gun first I'm gonna show you what it's like to shoot the gun without controlling the recoil cool at all and with having no attachments at all besides an extended mag for extra bullets suppressor so people can't hear me shoot and a holographic sight which is used for this medium version of this weapon so here as you see i am taking off all of the attachments besides those three these three attachments that i'm keeping on don't help with recoil at all so let's see what the gun does with no attachments and just shooting and see what the recoil pattern is so as we shoot here we go up a little right and then we go straight up to finish off and then a little more right so this is the pattern right here that we're looking at and this is with no attachments at all and one thing you have to know when controlling recoil is if you're new to recoil control or controlling recoil in a game you got to do the complete opposite as we see this has a right slope so the recoil is going to go right it's going to follow the right hand side so when we're shooting we're going to do the complete opposite of this so basically you want to do the complete opposite so here in the beginning you saw it went up we're going to go down as you see here it went right for a little slight we're going to go left for a little slightly and then here went up then a little curve so we're gonna go down then see how it curved here to the right we're gonna curve a little bit to the left so this is gonna be our recoil control this is how we're gonna start it we're gonna go down then make a left and then make it down and a slight left again so that's how you control the recoil you do the complete opposite of what the gun does but now let's see what the recoil is like and compare it with the attachments on the weapon so as we see I'm putting all the attachments back on the gun and let's see how the recoil is as we see it's the same type of pattern Pattern, but it's just a little bit different. There isn't much of a change with the recoil patterns. I'll put the image on the screen of a side-by-side -side image of before and after we put the attachments on. So there is a slight difference, but really it's just easier for you to control as all of the recoil patterns are kind of more compact. So you don't have to hold as far right or as far left. You kind of just got to try to hold that middle line and just understand that this version of the gun with the attachments is curving more in a straight line to the right and it's not 
not as zigzaggy as the other version was without the attachments. But now I'll show you that you can control the gun with and without attachments as I do control it here. We'll see I take off all the attack once again and I shoot at the wall just to show you that I can control the gun because I've learned the recoil patterns. I've learned how the gun works and this is without attachments. I can control the gun fairly easy. As we see here, I keep it in a semi-small circle. It's not that bad of a shot. That one small area would be hitting someone's chest if they're from this range. Again, it's all about learning the gun, understanding the recoil, understanding how the gun works. So now let's do it with attachments and see if I do any better. Now we are putting the attachments back on and let's shoot and see how we do if we can control the gun better. Again, this is with 36 rounds. And again, there is one part where the recoil does go a little bit crazy, but that's just because again, it goes up, it ticks hard, but we follow the about same pattern. Again, I will put a side by side on screen just so you can see the difference of before and after the attachments. But again, if you control the recoil, you keep the bullets in a semi tight circle. So practice your recoil control, practice it as much as you can, and you will succeed with this gun because this gun is deadly. Now we're going to look at the creature side of the gun, the PVE side of the weapon. Is it viable against Jeffs, against Striders, against Frattlers? And to keep it short, yes, it is. With the purple magazine here in the clip, we are using a blue one. So just imagine 12 extra bullets on top of all the bullets we already shoot. This gun with the purple magazine is absolutely undefeatable. Here we are fighting a Jeff. We don't even shoot his weak spot and look how much damage we did to him. We did just below half of the damage on him and we just keep shredding him. And again, we're using a 24 round mag in this clip. So if we had that purple magazine, we would have killed him in two clips and that wasn't even shooting at his weak spot. So if you shoot at his weak spot, you can almost basically one clip him with the purple magazine. You can definitely one clip him, but that just shows the power of this gun and how good it is in PVE. But now for the juice of this video, we're going over PVP. Again, I have a close range scenario, a medium range scenario, and another fairly medium range scenario, okay? Because the build I have for this gun with the holographic sight is a medium range weapon. If I wanted to have those longer range engagements, I would have put a two times on it, but the medium range engagements with this gun with the holographic sight works really well. But this is a close range engagement we have. When you go up onto this tower in Swamp Camp, there's usually always someone camping up here, and I'm going to show you exactly why this gun is so good. I open the door, and he comes at me with a bulldog, and I just shred him, and let's look. I killed him extremely quickly. He got us two shots off, and my health bar is still fairly large. We still have a good chunk of our health left. As we see, we'll go over that clip one more time. It was over in less than 10 seconds. We go up. We open the door. He peeks us right away, and we shred him almost immediately, and again, there with a 24-round mag, we still have four bullets left, so we only shot 20 bullets, and we did not hit every bullet on that guy. So that just shows you that even up close, it's still a viable weapon. It's not too bad of a weapon up close. It's just a little more difficult to maneuver as this guy had a bulldog, so his mobility was obviously better. But if you hone into those shots and really hit them, you will not be mistaken, and this gun will not mistake you. So right here is a clip that I got a kill on. We went into armory and looted it, and someone was trying to nade from outside, but look at how quickly we aimed in. Look at how well the gun did controlling its recoil, and just look at how well the weapon did in this situation. We open the door, we see the enemy, we zone in on him, and we destroy him. We hit him with two headshots, and it was over in less than a second. Let's go back and see how many bullets we wasted on that guy. So we open the door, we see him, we have 24 bullets in the mag, we finish shooting, we have 12 bullets. We used 14 bullets and absolutely destroyed someone. Granted, they were in white armor, but we almost didn't miss a shot. We might have missed one, two, maybe three shots, but really it wasn't that bad. Let's go over it one more time and really zone in on how many shots we hit. We hit almost everyone, missed two shots, I think, there, and we destroyed them with about 12 bullets onto his body with white gear. So that again shows you how good this weapon is and how versatile it is because I had to aim in quickly there and I had to get my shots off quick because he was really focused in on my location. So right here, we are sitting outside of mine just because we heard movement in there and I wanted to loot it, but it was already looted. The door was shut, so I knew someone was in there. Here, we're waiting for our prey. We see him push up. We get some great shots on him. I get my nade. I toss it. So he has to move from around the corner because I know if he pushes left, I can more than likely get him because my recoil control is pretty on point. So the first couple shots I shoot are a little off. And once I get it under control, I can really zone in on him. And that's where this gun does so well in those distances. It's really good in those medium range engagements, especially when they don't know what's happening. Because first of all, this gun can be very scary. It can be very intimidating. But when you have the advantage and you know how well you can control the recoil and you can really play confidently, this gun will not turn its back on you. It will be easily your favorite gun in the game. That's going to be the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. I will see you in the next video. Again, make sure
make sure you're subscribed, leave a like, maybe share with your friends if you wanna, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.